Welcome back. The film starts and a girl named Sawyer is shown. She was a senior student in a college. She receives a call when she was running and this call was for an interview for which she was waiting for a long time. She becomes happy about this call, but she has to go to Washington for interview. It was far from her house and their festival was also arriving, in which the whole family celebrates together while doing a party. Sawyer gets ready for the interview and then moves to Washington without telling anyone in her car. On the road which she has to pass there was traffic because of the festival. She decides to move from another path and arrives on the path from where she has to move. Moving forward on the way, she finds the path was closed. Then she decides to move forward through the paper map. She will not use GPS to move forward, so she selects a third way here. She also has the paper map through which she is deciding to move forward. Moving at a distance, she stops her car and sees the map getting out of the car. A car stops in front of her car when she was watching the map. Two boys appear from it. They were brothers. At first, they talked to her nicely, but soon their behavior changes. They started misbehaving with Sawyer and she kicks one of them, but he holds her back. Meanwhile, Sawyer injures the boy with a knife which she always keeps with her. Then she runs from there to escape. After it, they stand up and become furious at her. Now they want to catch Sawyer at any cost. Sawyer was running speedily for saving her life, and she has moved far from them while running. She escaped from them, but now she is lost in the forest. Her leg also becomes injured, and she gets tired because of walking for the whole day. She becomes thirsty, so she reaches near a stream. She drinks water, but the night has appeared. Sawyer has to spend the night here. On another side, a lady calls the police to tell them about a car that is standing on the road for a day. There was none inside the car, and the police officer arrives with his car and sees this was Sawyer's car. He doesn't find anything when he checks around, but there were some marks of dragging someone. The police officer visits the houses around and reaches the sibling's house while investigating. The elder brother was at home, and the police officer asks, Do you know whose car is this? but he clearly refuses that I don't know. Meanwhile, his younger brother Rives, who was having blood mark on his shirt, and it was the place where Sawyer attacks he sees them, because of having no evidence against them, so he leaves silently. Sawyer is shown at the shore of the stream in the forest. Her leg was injured and she was feeling pain even though she is hungry and thirsty for the last 24 hours. She didn't eat something or didn't even drink water properly. She has become weak as she has lost her blood. Now she moves forward somehow with her injured leg slowly. Meanwhile, she hears some voices from the mountain. She sees upside there was a car that was falling downside. It was Sawyer's car that was thrown by those brothers. If the car will remain standing near their house, the police will visit often, and they can be trapped due to it. So they leave after throwing her car. Then Sawyer comes to the car and takes out her phone from the car, but finds her phone broken. It was working, but the troubling thing was its battery was low. The more troubling thing was there wasn't any network in the forest through which she can't send messages to anyone for help. She becomes so weak that she gets faint, but in the next scene, she awakes and finds herself in a house. There was a boy in front of her named Lowell. Lowell has bandaged her injured leg, but Sawyer doesn't believe him and she feels because of being feared that maybe this human will harm her. She starts shouting but Lowell forbids her from doing this. Sawyer stands up from there 
and leaves, but she again falls down because of weakness. She gets faint, and when she awakes, she finds Lowell has tied her hands and feet. Later, he gives her bread to eat, and then asks Lowell why she came into this forest. Hearing this, Lowell tells him everything about her. On another side, the brothers are shown in the forest searching for Sawyer. While finding her, they find a piece of the cloth of her. Due to it, they confirm that Sawyer is still in the forest, that she is around them and Sawyer and Lowell were talking. Then they hear a car's voice outside the house. Sawyer starts calling for help loudly after hearing the car's voice. Lowell shuts her mouth and says, keep quiet, let me go and check. When he checks, he sees the brothers there. Lowell is actually their cousin and they ask about Sawyer. But Lowell clearly refuses them and says, I don't know any girl. They suspect him and don't believe him, so they come inside the house. Sawyer went outside the house and hides in a truck that was damaged. Lowell comes to her when they leave and says, you have done a mistake, you shouldn't come out of the house. Now come on, come inside the house. Actually, Lowell is a nice human and he wants to save Sawyer from his cousins. Like this, he wants to help Sawyer. And Lowell wants to do this as he knows his cousins are not good humans. They are dangerous. And then the police officer is shown whom we saw near Sawyer's car. Here, his senior officer asks him what's the report of the case. Did you discover something about the car? Whose car was it? Actually, there was a girl in the car who is missing for many days. We have to find the girl at any cost and solve this case. Later, the police officer again goes to the brothers and says, you have done a mistake to let that girl leave because this is a serious case. This has spread all over. Actually, the police officer was also corrupt and was with those brothers. Sawyer says to Lowell, please obey me and let me go from here. I have to go to Washington as I have an urgent task. I have an interview and Wyington isn't far from here. The man says, I have no car, but my cousins will go out this weekend. They have a task, so I will have their car. At that time, I can drop you anywhere. So please have patience and sit here. It is just a matter of 23 days. Just wait for two to three days. Now they become friends. And Sawyer also believes Lowell is a nice human. He doesn't want to harm her, but he wants to help her. Now they start living in that house calmly. Here we discover actually, Lowell is a chemistry student. He tells Sawyer about it when he was making a chemical. Later, the brothers are shown and they come to Lowell's house again. This time, they brought some boxes with them. As they enter the house, Lowell willingly spreads the smoke in the house. Getting a chance from it, Sawyer leaves from there and reaches the shore of the stream. Likewise, the brothers couldn't discover Sawyer is living with their cousin Lowell. It is shown in the police station that a police officer discovers about the corrupt officer, that he is with those brothers. That's why the police officer takes that police officer at the gunpoint before the police officer arrests him and tells him about others. Before this, the police officer shoots him. Due to it, the police officer dies. Later, he disappears from his dead body with the help of those brothers. Then the senior sheriff arrives and the police officer puts blame on the police officer for the girl who was missing, the officer whom he terminated. So they will consider the officer has vanished the girl. Now the police officer disappeared. The senior sheriff says, now I am taking the case from you and giving it to the state police because it is a serious matter and the corrupt officer becomes worried. Then he goes to those brothers and says, I think we will be caught now. 
This police officer was also included in drugs with those brothers. And Lowell made those drugs. The boxes they brought to his house were the drug boxes. Meanwhile, the car of the corrupt police officer passes from there while Lowell and Sawyer were sitting outside. He suspects that Sawyer is in Lowell's house. That's why he stops his car and says to Lowell, I want to search your house. Lowell refuses him that he will not let him search his house. He also doesn't have any warrant to search his house. He can't search his house. And the police officer tells this to those brothers that he thinks the girl Sawyer is in Lowell's house, so they move to his house. They see Sawyer there as they move inside. As they see them, they take Lowell and Sawyer at the gunpoint. Seeing it, Lowell says, you don't know why I keep her with me. Actually, I have made her prisoner and she used to do my all tasks. Later, he asks Sawyer to go and make coffee. Sawyer goes to the kitchen to make coffee. Then she places the coffee mug into the oven and then returns to Lowell. A voice comes from the oven after some time, which means the coffee is ready. The younger brother goes near the oven, but then there was a huge blast in the oven. The younger brother dies there. The blast was so huge that the whole house burned. They fall outside the house and become injured. This happened because of the chemical that Lowell was making. He also has told Sawyer about it, so she can use it at the right time. Lowell and Sawyer were outside the house where Lowell was injured, but Sawyer was fine. Meanwhile, the elder brother arrives and he was completely burned. Lowell asks Sawyer to escape from there. When the other brother was about to shoot him, Lowell holds him from behind and he points the gun at him while snatching it from him. Before Lowell could end him, the corrupt officer comes from behind. He ends them while shooting. Here, he has ended one of the brothers, so no evidence will be left. That's why she tries to run from there. The police officer takes her to the shore of the stream and tries to end her while drowning her in the stream. Meanwhile, the screwdriver gave by Lowell and he asked her to keep it with her. It drops in the water, but Sawyer picks it up somehow. She attacks the police officer with its help. Then she comes out of the stream while attacking him repeatedly and making him injured. She comes to the main road while returning. Meanwhile, many police cars are shown coming behind which come here for Sawyer's case. As many murders have already occurred here, a police officer is also missing along with Sawyer and her car. When the cops arrived, it was clear that Sawyer's life had been saved. If the corrupt officer will escape, the police will catch him. Here this movie ends. Thank you for watching.